Hey guys, how's it going? I've got something really, really cool and unique to check out today. Today I'm going to look at a guitar by Poletti Guitars. This is a really great Italian company and they make some really unique instruments. Now in the video today, I've got a buddy of mine named Deacon Lacrosse and he's come down he's going to help me out with reviews. Now fortunately my arm is healed up to the point from my injury I had a while back. It's healed up to the point now where I can play again. So I'm really excited I am going to be playing this guitar today. But like I said, my buddy Deacon is going to be helping me out and he's an amazing guitar player. So my excuse for not being as good as he is, is that my arm is still healing. But uh, we're going to get to the playing here in just a second. But first, let's check out this guitar. All right, guys, here it is. Now, of course, this is kind of a traditional Strat type guitar, but I mean, just look at this thing. It's got some really, really unique things about it. Let me just tell you about a few of these things here. First of all, look at the body. The wood from this guitar is made from 150-year-old reclaimed wine barrels. Okay, no joke, this is a chestnut body and the wood is from ancient wine barrels. And of course, they reclaim the wood and then they use it to make the body on this guitar. Now, also the top here, this is a leather top on this guitar. It's got these really cool rivets around the outside and there's also antique brass used on the pick guard and some of the other hardware. There's also a lot of really cool little details here, like the knobs here are actually the ends of shotgun shells, 12 gauge shotgun shells to be precise. Up here on the headstock, we've got a bone nut and some Clausen vintage style tuners. Everything on this guitar is really, really high quality. Also, the guitar has a really incredible weight to it. I think it's the, uh, the chestnut body and the fact that I would imagine the wood is somehow soaked with hundreds of years of wine or something like that. But this. This guitar has a really nice heavy weight to it. All right, guys, I'll go over some more specs here in a few minutes, but let's go ahead and sit down with my buddy Deacon and we're gonna plug this guitar in and listen to how it sounds. And we're gonna have a little wine too. Awesome, dude. Hey guys, how you doing? I got a good friend of mine joining me today. Uh, this is Deacon Lacrosse. Deacon, thanks for coming down, man. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. So we've got a really cool guitar, obviously, to check out today. This is uh, one of the new guitars from Paletti. And uh, dude, I mean, you played it, man. What do you what do you think <laughs> of this? It plays really nicely. I love the uh, the way that the neck feels and everything. It's just really comfortable. It's got a nice profile. It's got a really unique sound, like really unique sound. It's crazy. Honestly, a guitar, I mean, this is not an inexpensive guitar. I mean, these, these are handmade in Italy, but I'm kind of of the mindset that if, you, if you're going to spend a lot of money on a guitar, you should get something really cool or really unique. And I think yeah, this definitely, I agree. I agree. definitely sure. puts the bill. It's, it's definitely got a lot of unique character to it. <laughs> definitely something uh, that stands out a little bit more. Now, if you appreciate wine, you know, sometimes you you get the scent of it. Does, does a guitar have a scent <laughs> at all? Because well, that's I the mean, big thing of this guitar is the body is made from 150-year-old wine barrels. They reclaim mm -hmm. the wood and they use it to make the bodies on these guitars. And I mean, it. I think it contributes to the tone, but can you, can you, is there a wine? Well, I just smelled the wine. Okay. Now let's, it smells mm -hmm. like wood. No. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> no, no. Uh, if you concentrate, I think you can you still smell the wine. So this guitar has a combination of pickups. I mean, we've got the uh, Paletti brand pickups in the neck and the middle position, but then we've got a Seymour Duncan Little 59 in the bridge position. I always love to have 
you know, humbucker capability mm -hmm. in a guitar, especially in the bridge position. And this this pickup, to me, it has a very like aggressive kind of raw sound, kind of a little yeah, loose, a little loose does. in some ways. It, actually, yeah, you bring it up, like the looseness of it is really cool. The fact that, uh, well, first of all, as a player myself, uh, I like double humbuckers, but the fact that it's a single, that, you know, it's a stacked single basically right. is what it is, right? Yeah. That, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of real estate. You don't have to, you know, deal with a bigger pickup and everything like that. Plus, it's got all the full tones that you would need uh, that you would normally get out of a double humbucker. And then uh, their two pickups actually have their own very unique sounds. And it's cool because everything actually works well with the the wood and and everything that the guitar is actually made out of and yeah. it's, it got it has its own unique sound like definitely i haven't played too many instruments that actually sound as unique as this one so that's good i think that's why you would buy a guitar in the first place yeah is because you like the way it plays and sounds right totally. yeah. so that's it's a plus honestly it's unique in the looks and the tone of the instrument but speaking of tones hmm. let's listen to some more stuff let's uh let's just hear you uh, rock out on it here all right sure cool awesome man <laughs> Thanks. so you're you are absolutely shredding on that thing i mean as far as the playability goes of the guitar what do you, you know how do you like that well i mean first of all like the profile is a really comfortable profile like the radius on the back of the neck mm -hmm. it's it's not too wide and it's not like too thin uh for me it's in a really comfortable position it's in a really comfortable curve uh i really like the fact that it's like a satin kind mm -hmm. of a finish it's Definitely. like not very glossy it's uh, sometimes uh uh, as players, uh, whether you like gloss or not, sometimes it can get like sticky. I know people have right. used like baby powder on the back of yeah. it, but you don't really get that issue with something like this. The frets feel wonderful. There's no like sharpness on them. Yeah, the, the action, frets are, I mean, they're polished really, really beautiful. They are they're actually. They, they really they, nice finish. They look really place. good and they're, they're profiled out really nicely. And uh, honestly, when I was first looking at the guitar, when you showed it to me, I was actually kind of worried that this would get in the way of the playability. Right. Like with your hand and your, your, your forearm rubbing on it and everything. Yeah. And you get none of that. Yeah. It was actually kind of cool that it's like aesthetically pleasing and it's also playable, you know? Yeah, well, all of these, these are all smoothed over here. And it's actually interesting because the inside of the body here, it's like it's countersunk yeah, just slightly I was into the body. That. And I then was... the leather is placed into that cutout there. So That's it's sense. not really, it's not really sticking up. Yeah, like there's like this little it. lip right here where the yeah. wood actually starts. So your arm is actually not ever touching like... Those metal the, pieces. The, the, the rivets or whatever yeah. you want to call them. So that's actually kind of a really clever way to put like an interesting top on a guitar so it doesn't affect your playing. It's a wonderful instrument. The action and everything is just set up really nicely. Yeah, I mean, it's not just a guitar that looks crazy. I mean, it's actually the way it sounds yes. and the way it plays. It's really carefully thought out. Oh, so yeah. it's, it's a lot more than just a, a visual conversation yes. piece. Yeah. <laughs> most, most definitely. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, that shredding stuff was awesome, but let's go ahead and let's listen to a few clean tones. Definitely. It, right? I, can't, I can't wait to hear that. Cool. <clears throat> Thank you. 
That was really good. I mean, I love the the looseness of the pickups, but they have such a sweet, you know, very classic tone to them. It's, it's really yeah. nice. Like it, it allows for a lot of like control. Like um, in some of the runs that I did on on the clean ones, you could hear I was coming in and out of like dynamics and stuff. Right. And I, I was hitting like a lot of soft notes and a lot of hard notes, um, and you could hear that dynamics. It's responsive. Yes, exactly. So yeah. it it allows a lot of like artistic. Uh, flow and freedom in a way and it, it's and the fact that you said that it's loose is actually um, cool because it's almost out of control in a way right which is kind of cool though because there's there's no uh, point to stop that I, I know it's kind of weird to say it that way but like an instrument that has that kind of character why would you fight it like well it's like the guitar itself mm -hmm. is adding something to no exactly it that, that you don't anticipate exactly yeah, yeah. so it's it's more of a it's more of like a collaboration between you and the guitar. That's exactly right, yeah. and and it, it definitely allows that. Whether it's distortion or the clean, uh, you can kind of work with the instrument really well. Yeah, I think. Well, l let's have a little more wine, and then I want to play that guitar. Oh, you want to play the guitar? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, your your glass is empty, so <laughs> do you want mine or do you want to pour some more? <laughs> I'll pour some more. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh man. Here you go. Mm. Okay. All right, guys, so what do you think of this guitar? Now, first of all, big shout out to my buddy Deacon for coming down and uh, playing the guitar with me. Uh, you know, as you saw, he's a fantastic player. I'll put some links in the video description below if you want to check out some more of his stuff here on YouTube. Now, as far as the guitar, there are just so many, so many cool details about this guitar. And of course, I normally review, you know, budget guitars and less expensive guitars, and this is definitely not a guitar that falls in that category but like i said if you're going to spend a lot of money on a guitar i think you should get something that's really unique and really special not just some you know standard issue expensive guitar because of course you can go out and easily you know spend four thousand dollars on a fairly standard les paul or something like that you know if you're going to spend that kind of money i personally think you should really get something really unique now some of the other details of this guitar that are really cool of course it's a roasted neck here so this is fantastic for the, uh, the tone and also the tuning stability. We've got some nice aged brass hardware all over the guitar here. The pickups are really cool too. The neck and the middle pickup are the uh, Paletti brand pickups. They've got a really, really nice sweet tone to them. Now down here in the bridge, there's a Seymour Duncan Little 59 that I absolutely love. And although you can absolutely go to the Paletti website and order one of these guitars, each guitar is gonna be slightly different because they are handmade. So if you want something a little bit different, if you want maybe a different pickup combination or a different wood for the neck, they have a variety of different options that you can choose from. Another thing to keep in mind is if you like strats to begin with, this is gonna have you know, a 12 inch radius and the same scale length as a traditional strat. So if you've been a strat player for a long time and you want to go to a guitar like this, it's gonna feel pretty familiar, but of course, Plutty does make other body shapes and other styles of guitars as well. Also, when you get one of these guitars, you don't just get the guitar itself, which honestly would be enough, but they have a really, really nice custom-made hard case that comes with it. And this is not an off-the-shelf hard case. This is a case that Paletti makes right alongside the guitar, so it has the same high level of craftsmanship as the guitar does. Now, guys, don't get me wrong. I still love doing budget reviews. But to be able to check out a guitar like this and to play something that is made to just such a high level of quality and such a unique guitar, I mean, this is really a treat for me. All right, guys, so I'm thrilled now that my arm has healed up enough that I can play again. But honestly, after listening to Deacon play, I'm going to go home and practice because that guy is amazing. So I'll put some links in the video description below if you want to find out more information about this guitar or to check out some of the stuff 
that Deacon has done. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.